11,835 pounds. Big old quad slide Everest fifth wheel by Keystone landing at Advantage One RV Brokers of Coldwater, Michigan. We are the sister store to Halet RV one mile down the street. This is where we sell RVs on behalf of their owners. So think of it kind of like real estate, but the good news, we can still do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. So as far as you're concerned, just another used camper. This thing has a big wide open feel about it. Lots of nice light wood tones all over the place. I, I obviously don't have any lights on right now and the shades are drawn and it's still pretty decent in here. The uh, Most of the shades look like they might need restrung. A, a couple of the strings were popped. That's super, super minor stuff, but anything that I discover, I, I try to make you know a, a known factor so that you folks can make a, a good, more educated uh, you know purchase decision. Over here in the living room, this is a uh, classic inner spring style hide bed sleeper sofa. What I love about it though is it is just flanked by tons of windows. So you get some great light and airflow in there. Now all of the windows have uh, dual section day and night blinds, so you really have a lot of control over the light and privacy in the RV. The entertainment center here, a little bit classic, but a lot of storage going on in it. <laughs> a little bit country little rock and roll and above that we've got ourselves one rocking and rolling big max air vent fan as well as a nice ceiling fan now the uh uh chairs over here free floating recliners so you can twist and shout if you feel like and you know kick your feet up or just kind of swivel about a little bit rock back and forth comfortably as you see fit that little floating table normally would probably go between the recliners i left it kind of pulled out just to sort of draw some attention to it so you could spot it now there's outlets all over the place in this thing and it actually has a classic kind of old school full timing feature and that's a traditional phone jack over here in the corner isn't that a blast from the past you don't see a lot of that little dish brain right there uh when we get on the back side you'll see that mounted uh, on the ladder on the rear cap is a view cube, which is like something that you can get here at Halet RV uh, to help you access satellite entertainment in an RV. Kind of a pretty cool thing. Actually, first time I saw them, I was a little skeptical, and then I saw them work, and I was very impressed. They work pretty darn well. I am a sucker for things like these little breakfast bar stools. Anytime I see those, it just, it takes me back. Now, this thing is, what's nice about this is you have a dedicated, like, defined middle kitchen you have a defined rear living room separate bed and bath areas every room has its its clear separations from one another uh let's crack open some storage we're gonna start up here if we uh take a look there you can see like floor to ceiling pantry basically it's not super deep but there is a lot of it it is tall and we've got some big drawers down here uh below these solid surface countertops now if i pivot around a little bit speaking of countertops we're, we're greeted by some but right down here, if you take a look, there's a really cool way that they kind of hid the wastebasket in this thing. Not to mention that you have full storage going on below the sink right there. Nice big wide open spaces, handy for pots, pans, all that. Now if you notice up in the hallway, we're going to go past a couple big windows, but we are also just slathered in windows all over the door side of this RV wall, plus the rear and the, the height of bed. So I mean, you've got like 270 degrees of viewing and visibility. Pretty good. Uh, central vacuum hookup right down there in the steps that lead us to the upper deck. And our master control panel is kind of hidden away up here behind this little mirrored door where the grandkids are less likely to get to it. Looks like at some point they did upgrade and replace the uh, thermostat for a uh, little more modern digital one to give them some more control over things. Now this was made before these giant 50, 60 inch mega showers kind of found their way into the business. And I want to get in here and open this up because there's, that, that's a big linen cabinet. It's easy to miss. Holy cow. Uh, apparently during quarantine, they made a run on toilet paper. Those folks were stocked up for the apocalypse. Well, good news. You're inheriting an apocalypse quantity of toilet paper. <laughs> the uh, sink in here is very cool. If you notice, it's a one-piece molded fixture. The sink and the uh, countertop is all kind of one thing. They have dual entry doors here. So that uh, depending on which side of the bed you're on, it's kind of easy to slide through. Or, you know, if you have some guests, you can make sure that uh, no one's coming in and, and looking at you in the middle of the night. 70 by 80 king bed here in the east-west bed slide. It is equipped with a single air right now, which was common when this was first built. It, you know, the dual air demand basically just wasn't there until only the last couple of years in the RV industry, especially here in the Midwest. 
but it is 50 amp service. That's the little junction box there. If you want to sacrifice that vent to install a second air, we can do that for you just down the street at Halet RV. Technically, this is being recorded at Halet RV right now. You're thinking, so why is it down there? Well, uh, when it came in, needed a little bit of brake work. It has brand new brakes, um, brand new bearings as well. So it is uh, a big model like this, I think, is great for leaving park somewhere. But mechanically, it's sound and ready to hit the road. And you might have noticed as I was flying around, uh, washer dryer hookups here in the closet. And down in the pass-through, I think this is a really good sign of someone who was very kind of organized about taking care of their RV. They built their own little shelf unit here where they had things like your, you know, uh, power cord extension, you can see the outside rug uh, with the RV, all kind of, like, all set up. Oh, this is smart. So this has a power awning. Having a power awning button right here in the basement, I don't, I don't get why more RVs today don't do that. That's just such a simple, inexpensive feature, and on a big fifth wheel like this, saving you from going up and down the steps a few times. It's just, it's so easy, I don't understand why it's not more common. Maybe there's a wiring reason for it, but I feel very confidently that that's uh, a, a, a something that could be worked around. Good size power awning on that too. And you might have noticed slide out awnings offering some uh, protection here. Overall, the decals and stuff look pretty good too. The exterior, interior, I, well, I guess the whole way through, about the pickiest I can really be about this RV, given its age, like if you consider the RV as a whole, it needs a bath and not even a bad one. It just, it needs just a quick once over rinse down and I mean, really, that's that's about it. And sticking out like a sore thumb is that view cube that I mentioned. That's kind of the uh, the satellite dish in a sense, although it's more of a satellite cube, as the name implies. Uh, <laughs> now, this is all power jack, so it's all push buttons, simple and easy. Um, people in today's market, if you're newer to RVing, you might not recognize the the name Everest, but uh, Everest kind of became like Alpine and Avalanche. So Everest was always like one of the, the higher end, kind of like a sister to a Montana. It's one of the big top level Keystone fifth wheels.